Hi, Stephen. I'm Link Cowan with Broadway Liquor, and as you know and, and have reviewed before, we've started a new program called the Pick Six here in Shawnee, and it's been uh, very well received by both our customers and, and our staff, and, and uh, we really like it. It uh, gives the customer the opportunity to review six different beers without having to buy six and uh, having something that you don't like. So you uh, can make a selection uh, based on what you think you like and then find out what you really like. It's been great for us. I'm going to turn this over to Travis, our manager and our beer expert. Travis is doing a great job. Uh, we have Travis and uh, Amber, our assistant manager, and Blakely and Vanessa are our co-workers and cashiers, and we're, uh, we're all happy to help you, and we really appreciate you shopping at the Broadway here in Shawnee. Thanks. As you can see, there's a very large selection. That's what I'm talking about. That actually wasn't too bad. Your Oklahoma beer try. There's another one that's pretty good. These are all 5%. All your Smirnoffs and uh, Mike's. <laughs> Well, we'll just start off with walking you through our beer selection here. We've uh, been bringing in a lot of new beers. We uh, like doing special requests on beers. We like bringing in any kind of beers that you don't see up here, like bringing in new beers for people. We brought in probably about a good 25 beers over the last six or seven months that's hmm. been doing really well. Of course, we've got our Guinness, which is great. Red Stripe, um, Stella, uh, Stella, this Belgian white beer, great beer, great flavor to it. It's a light, easy drinking beer. Scrimshaw, Anchor Steam. These are both really good. We've had these. These are special requests by a couple guys that come down from Texas every week. Um, Red's Apple Ale. If you haven't tried it, it's worth giving it a shot. It's not a cider, it's an actual apple ale. Really nice, easy drinking beer, got good apple flavor to it. I've heard great things out of the Goose Islands. Have not tried those yet, want to. Um, we've got a good selection of Oklahoma beers. We've got Marshall, um, we've got a Porter, we got a Wheat, we got a Pilsner, this Coop, we've got the Native Amber, the Horny Toad, we've got the Chalk Line. The 1919, The Last Laugh. We got product out of Mustang, which if you haven't tried the Mustang beers, are really good. The Mustang with sheet of wheat is a really nice, easy drinking beer. If you're looking for something that is comparable to a 3.2 beer that's higher alcohol content, that's a good one to go with. Um, the Flying Dog in Heat Hefeweizens. I'm a real big fan of any, any of the Hefeweizens or wheat beers. are just, to me, real easy drinking. The Moose Drill Brown Ale is a really good beer. We've got the big selection of Shiners. We've got the Ducatis, Heinekens. We've got a really good selection of our Mexican beers over here on this side. We've got the Coronas. Pacifico, I've heard that it's one of the best Mexican beers that you can try. Modelas, I'm a big fan of Modelas and the Dosequis. We got the beers of Mexico, which gives you a little variety. You can, you got Dosequis, Sol, and Ducati all in the same 12 pack. We've got a, all of our ciders and everything over here. The Mike's Hard Lemonades, um, some of the ciders, Angry Orchard, the Hornsby's. Angry Orchard is a really good cider. These Cayman Jacks, we just got these in. Uh, they're a six point, but I've heard for the people that are looking for the Bud Light Limeritas. Uh -huh. I've heard these are every bit as comparable to taste as the Bud Light Limeritas. Really? But they're just not eight point like the Limeritas or six point, but uh, we brought those in for, because we've got three or four people a week asking about the Limeritas. So 
Since we can't get those, we found something that's at least comparable to taste on them. That's good. We've got the whole line of lining pools that we can get. We've got a good selection of the, the St. Adams. Um, the Boulevard, Boulevard makes great beers. We've got the single white IPA. We've got the regular wheat beer, their Bully Porter. This Tank 7, I was telling him about yesterday. It's an 8.5% alcohol beer, really good beer. It's got a nice little citrusy, like a grapefruit citrus taste at the end of it. Really nice, nice beer. <coughs> then, of course, we've got our pick six where we've got most all the beers we can get on here um, on our pick six. You can buy them in six packs for $8.99. Um, we've taken it to where you can buy them in singles now for $1.84. We're constantly switching these in and out. We'll sell out of one style. We'll bring in, you know, just take something else off the shelf. Just try it out. That way we're constantly changing them out to give people options of stuff they've never tried before. Because, I mean, nobody likes buying a six pack of something for 10 bucks and drink one of them and have to throw the rest of them away. Yeah. I've done that before. <laughs> I have to use them for meat marinade or whatever, you know. Um, we've got all of, this, all of our Smirnoffs here. Um, we've got the Dailies pouches, frozen margaritas, pina coladas, and everything. We've got all the different Smirnoff flavors, which to me, I've tried them. I like them. I know they're considered, I guess, women drinks, but that peach bellini just tastes like a knee high peach soda. Oh, you're really good. Yes, it, it's, it's really good. Um, of course, we've got all of our Colt 45 Blast, all of our Four Locos, uh, and this is where we keep all of our higher. Um, higher alcohol uh, malt liquors and high gravities, side pockets, Mickey's, Lost Lake, Steel Reserves, Pit Bulls. Um, all the flavors that we can possibly get of the Four Locos, which I've tried a couple of them. They're good. Me personally, I'm not a, you know, not, not, not a huge fan of them. I mean, if you're just wanting something to catch a quick buzz, yeah, one can of those will give you a quick buzz. So. This is uh, our liquor section. Um, we've got it set up starting with our vodkas. We got the basics: uh, Tavarski, Heaven Hill, McCormick, Burnett's. For the money, Burnett's you just really can't go wrong with Burnett's. For the price, for the flavor, it's a nice, clean, straight vodka. Even just the regular vodka is really good, but the flavors is really good. I've tried about four or five different flavors, and they're just really good vodkas. Really good to mix, really good just to shoot straight. New Amsterdam's another good one. It's kind of come out to try to compete against the uh, Ciroc. They've come out with a red berry and a peach. Um, it's really good. Uh, we've got our, our line of Sky. Uh, we've got the new Sky infused with the Moscato grape. Really good, nice, sweet, something you can just take a shot of. Chill it down, just shoot it straight. Really good. The 360s, I've tried pretty much all the 360s. You can't go wrong with that. The double chocolate is by far my favorite. It goes great in the white Russian. Just can't go wrong. Moves off into our rums, all of our flavored rums, all the different kinds, into our straight rums, gold rums, spiced rums. If nobody's ever tried Sailor Jerry, I highly recommend Sailor Jerry. Um, it's a spiced rum, 92 proof, over the Captain Morgan 72. It's got great flavor to it, just high alcohol content. Um, he used to be a tattoo artist, and on the back of all the labels, it's got some of his pinup girls that he used to do of his tattoo art and stuff on the back of them. You can actually rub this and get it kind of warmed up wow. and peel it off and keep it as like a little picture on the back of it. Yeah. Huh. I didn't know that for a long time until one of my customers That's told me about it. Yeah. Then we move off into our bourbons. <clears throat> um, of course, we this just like everything in the store. If it's something up here that we don't carry that you've seen in other stores, let us know. We can we do special orders or anything in the store, whether it's wine, alcohol, beer, whatever. Um, Weller's is a really great bourbon. Every bit is comparable to Maker's Mark, just half the price. Me personally, I'm an Evan Williams drinker because. To me, Evan Williams is better than Jack Daniels. It's a true Kentucky bourbon where Jack's a Tennessee whiskey and you're paying half the price for it. 
Um, we're out of stock on it right at the moment. They've got the we just got the white label Evan Williams in, which is hundred proof Evan Williams. Really smooth, really really good. Um, I don't know if anybody, if you guys tried any of the flavored whiskeys as far as like the cinnamon, the honey, but they're getting really popular and they're actually really good. The Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey is excellent. Um, I highly recommend that one. Then we kind of move off into our blended American whiskeys, some of our Canadian whiskeys. Then we come off into our scotches, which scotch is kind of a dying breed. A lot of people are not liking the scotches anymore. It's kind of slowing down lately in the days. But the, we've got the Crown Royal Maple, which I liked it. A lot of people think it's a little too sweet. To me, it'd be perfect. Just pour a couple fingers over ice, just kind of sit back and sip on it. Nothing to, you know, I don't know if I could set new shots of it steady because it is kind of sweet, but just sit back and just have you a couple sips of, you know, really nice, easy drinking. Nice little sweetness to it. These are uh, a lot of our mixers, um, tequilas. Pre-mixed margaritas, things like that, the triple sec, all of the Baileys, things like that, that are pre-mixed drinks that we've got. Our wine room right here is relatively new. We've got it set up as we start with our whites. We try to set it up as easy for our customers as possible. We set it up from driest to sweetest. Uh, we start with our Savion Blancs and we move down to our Chardonnays, Pinot Grigios. We move around into our some are semi-sweet sweet wines like the Rieslings and White Zinfandels. Then over into our Moscatos. <coughs> then on our red wines, we've got Pinot you know, Merlots. we got Pinot Noirs over on this side. we got our Cabernet Savions over here and our Zinfandels. Um, we've got a, a Great Lime Champagnes. Um, we carry the Martini and Rossi's. We carry... The Corbels, um, we we carry the Dom Perignon. We do have the Dom Perignon and the Cristal. A lot of people don't realize that we even carry that, but we do have some bottles of that that we sell. I highly recommend this Corbel Rouge. It's made out of a Pinot Noir wine. Really nice, not real dry, not real sweet. Just it's something that you can sit back and have with dinner. It's a really nice, easy drinking champagne. Um, for the money, you really can't go wrong with Bellatori. Bellator is a really good sparkling wine. Um, we carry a large brand of Oklahoma wines. We carry the uh, Lane Run. They're out of, if not mistaken, they're out of El Reno. Yes, out, out of El Reno. We've done a tasting on a lot of these Lane Run wines. They're really good. We carry the Sparks. We got the Deep Fork Red. We carry the My Sweetie. Some of these chocolate wines, if nobody's ever tried them. They're worth giving it a shot. They're kind of like drinking a you. Oh, yeah. Yes, they're really, really good. Um, we brought in these. They're out of Slaughterville. They're uh, Canadian River. Um, this chocolate Merlot, I've heard, is their best-selling best -selling wine. We've had to reorder it three or four times since we brought it in. It's just a really good wine. I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard great things out of it. Behind the counter, we've got our pint sections, pints, half pints, um, very much. little 50 milliliter shooters States. over here, which people I call our, I guess, the airplane shots. Uh, we've got a, a good go. selection of those Thanks. in there. Um, they range in there from a dollar on up. Well, it's, it's um, locked. I'm saying, okay. All of our it's pints and half pints. It's dangerous over there until we get it fixed. Thank you. Thank you. We, uh, we've got a selection of vodkas, whiskeys, rums, tequilas, schnapps. Um, with these, just like anything else, we can bring in special orders on these, whether by the bottle or if it's something that you'd be willing to purchase on a regular basis, and you know, we'd be willing to keep it on the shelf. Of course, we can't stock everything that we can possibly get. Um, we can just keep what we got room for. So that's why we had no problems doing special orders for people. You know, no yeah. money down, no extra charge for bringing it in. It just whatever the price is. You know, let's give you a call just, when it comes in. We give you a call when it comes in, and you come pick it up. And yeah, I remember when I called and asking if you could carry a fat tire, and I got I got word the very next day. 
Yeah. No, we couldn't carry it. Yeah, yeah, I will get on the computer. I'll call reps. If it's something I can't find on the computer, I'll call the reps and How I'll are you, sir? get some Fine. kind of information Welcome whether or not we can like, get it. And you? Why can't we get it? And then, you know, I'll right. give you a call back as soon as I hear something. And Just like I had uh, asked about the 12 packs of uh, Honey Brown. Yeah. One time y'all made an order and it wasn't, but just a few days after I get a phone call, yeah, usually, I here. Yeah, we get orders um, pretty much every day. The only day we don't get an order on is Tuesday. Um, if we get the special order by a certain time in the afternoon, we can usually get it the next day. If it gets after the cutoff time, then we'll get it the you know the day following that. But yeah, we can get special orders in at least in a day or two days, tops. This is our market side. We've uh, just expanded out into our market side. Um, we used to just carry the basics, you know, chips, candy, pops, two liters, things like that. We've expanded out, started bringing in a lot more candies, a lot more different kinds of candies. Uh, we've brought in an ice cream box. We've got a huge selection of ice creams. Um, we've got our our beer, which we're about to start expanding it out and um, start bringing in a bunch of new beers. We try to have about the coldest beer in town. We keep our cooler set at around 40 degrees, if not a little under. Try to keep it as cold as humanly possible. Which I haven't seen a, uh, another liquor store that offers a, a cold side at all. There's very, very few of them. Um, I think Red Ball has a, has a market. I don't know if they've got a if they've got cold beer over there or not, but they do, I think, have a market over there. That, but yeah, we, on Sundays, we've got our Sunday beer special. Every Sunday, 10% off all beers across the board, whether it's singles, 12-packs, cases, whatever, 10% off on Sundays. We're open Sundays from 10 to 6 on our market side, so there you go. everybody can come by and get the beers and their snacks for game day and on Sundays over here. Um, this is the market that we've expanded out. We're bringing in a lot more grocery items, um, trying to carry... The staples that people need, bread, you know, milk, eggs, cheese, butter, canned vegetables, you know, things, toilet paper, paper towels, we've got toiletry items for, you know, alcohol, band-aids, just things like that. Um, we're starting to carry frozen foods, you know, pizzas, chicken strips, burritos, whatever we can bring in that'll help people out. We're going to start taking access here in the next, uh, Next little while, we're uh, basically we've got approved. We're just waiting to get everything in for it. Uh, we just started carrying these in. They're uh, like the daily pouches, uh, but they're 3.2. So we got the penny clot of strawberry daiquiri and margarita in these. And me personally, I don't know why anybody wants something 3.2 and you can get it 6 point, but I guess because it's already cold. That's about the only reason. Working hands on a Sunday. Yeah, Sundays, <laughs> there you go. We got a little bar area over here that we sell shot glasses, corkscrews, little parasol toothpicks, <coughs> you know, wine glasses, beer glasses, all kinds of things. And um, just like anything over here on this side, just like liquor store, if there's anything that you don't see that you'd like us to carry, we'll bring it in and we'll do the best we can to get it in. We, we like to accommodate our customers and we've got a our ice, we sell 10 pound bags of ice, so it comes out to $2.15 after tax. So we've got basically all your bar, all your needs that you possibly want. We've got alcohol on one side, beer, ice, cups. Yeah. Just trying to make it a little one stop shop and turn Broadway into a, a household name. You know? yeah. A little bit of everything. We're constantly bringing new products every week over here. Like sort of convenience store combined. Exactly, yeah. Uh, we've, we've called this convenience store for so long that we just decided over here, but now we are changing it. Uh, when we first started bringing in food items, the, one of the first items we brought in was this Wolf Brand Chili. Um, we got our price set at $1.66, and just to see, I went to one of the Sinclair's, I don't know if I can mention any names or anything, but I went to one of the other convenience stores. And check the prices. The same exact chili they're selling for over three dollars a can. Yeah, uh, just absolutely ridiculous on the prices. Um, everything in the market side, for the most part, is set under two dollars. The most you're going to pay for most of the things is going to be around two and a quarter. 
there's some things that are a little bit higher, of course, like the coconut, the cream of coconut milk and some of the margarita salts and stuff, but for the most part, all of our food items are, the most you're going to spend is $2 and a quarter. Everything is set at $2 range around there, so. Um, we also have our weekly sign-up sheet for, uh, we give away weekly prizes. Um, for the weekly prize, we give things away that our servers give us, t-shirts, hats, keychains, whatever they, you know, little small things they give us just to say, hey, thanks for being a Broadway customer, things like that. Um, we give away a monthly prize, which our monthly prizes, we get a little bigger. They're, uh, we've given away big ice chests, we've given away smokers, grills, some big, like, metal benches. It's got, like, Ducati or Heineken on them. Um, we've even given away a little digital camera before that we got from one of our, one of our reps and everything. Um, so, yeah, we give, we Everything we get from our reps, we try to give back to our customers. Anything else just, for you today, like I said, sir? just to say thank you for being a customer here. That's fine. Um, we are on Facebook. Um, you can look us up under Broadway Liquor and Market and Facebook. We've got a special summer sweepstakes going on right now. You can get on there if you like us. You can share it with your friends. Every time you uh, share it with your friends or something, it'll put another entry in. Um, what we're giving away right now is a uh, fire pit. If I'm not mistaken, right, I think it's made out of bronze or copper or something. Have a good weekend. Yeah, here's the picture. Here's the fire pit that we're giving. Hi, Robin. Right here. Hello, Blake. How are you? Something good nice there. to sit on your porch. Yeah, that's right. Sit out in the middle of your front yard, put some lawn chairs yeah, around. Yes, sir. It's good two and a half foot wide. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.